Welcome back everyone to Pontus Fathom Hobbies. This is our unboxing first impressions review of War of the Rings expansion, Lords of Middle-earth from Ares. Uh, we just wrapped up last month uh, our first playthrough of War of the Ring and we did a uh, we also did a massive 250 miniature three-day paint through so you can go back and check out those we also have the review of War of the Rings so I, I think playing through the first time live is definitely uh, difficult but what I'm really excited to do is play it through again and then maybe play it through with the Lords of Middle-earth expansion so let's let's get into the box let's see what in what's in there let's do a quick shout out though to Pontos Fathom Press three volume Katu journals out of Lovecraft's Providence one two and three you've got the genealogy of Cthulhu the Archaeology of Yog sothoth and the Psychoanalysis of Rilyeb. These are a um, great way to support the channel. And also, you can always support by liking and subscribing. We do a daily uh, game playthrough. Uh, we've got series for nine series of Eldritch Horror now, several for Cthulhu Wars. We're on season two of Cthulhu Death May Die. Um, playing through uh, Battlestar Galactica, Risk, uh, Game of Thrones, Conan by Monolith, lots of games out there. So go back and check our back catalog. Really appreciate your support. Um, let's. You can also check us out on Patreon too. We've been uploading, updating Patreon a lot more recently. So i uh, uh, got a lot of content over there, trying to grow that community and we're trying to get ourselves up to a thousand subscribers. So if you can share this with your like-minded gaming friends, uh, really appreciate it. So let's check th check this out. It looks like we've got Galadriel here on the cover. Uh, it's a mini box expansion, but it still has quite a, a number of great components. Um, we've got this. So we get the rule book. It is um, in uh, sort of War of the Ring fashion. And we're going to go through these components that they've got here. So we have the uh, Smeagol hunt tiles. So we get some additional hunt tiles with Smeagol, which characterize the game a bit differently. We also get the Balrog status counter. So that's another component that's, that's different. Balrog is in here. Um, there are, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight additional miniatures here let me get this, this this on the on the screen here eight additional miniatures uh, we will definitely be doing a paint through of these let's pull them out uh, we've got oh we've got the balrog check this balrog out it's awesome right the balrog we've got aragorn on the horseback Cool. We've got the Witch King. See, this is definitely, I'm glad that, that we have this character because there's a Witch King figure in the War of the Rings pack, but he's not mounted, right? So, uh, Witch King of Angmar, awesome edition. Uh, we also have Elrond and Galadriel. Elrond and Galadriel, these would be great to paint paint up. I will be doing a painting video for these separately and you guys can come check that out. We've got the Mouth of Sauron off the horse now and then we've also got Gothmog as well so these are cool and then finally we've got Gandalf the White and he's his, his rod's a bit bent here so we'll get a little bit of hot cold water on this one to try to straighten that out. Gandalf the White on Shadow Facts. Uh, next up, we've got our new cards. So we've got a number of new cards here. Let's kind of go through these quickly. I don't want to read through them. I don't want to sort of spoil the, the fun of the game, but let's kind of just check out. You get new Shadow character cards. We get new Allies cards. And then we have revised versions of Smeagol, uh, the Witch King. The Mouth of Sauron is looking particularly fright frightening here. Uh, Gothmog, Lieutenant of Morgul. The Balrog, Aragorn. Uh, then we got new new cards for the for the Fellowship here. 
So these are different versions of the fellowship that we can use. Uh, so it's Boromir, Captain General of, of, of Gondor, Smeagol, the Tamed Wretch, and Mary Doc, the Hobbit of the Shire, Peregrine, the Hobbit of the Shire. So we've got a number of cards. And then uh, what I always like are the dice. So we've got Elven Dice, Gandalf, Galadriel, and Elrond have their own die now. This is fantastic, right? This is cool. Uh, interesting. We also have the Lesser Minions dice. So these are the these dice are collectively called the Keepers of the Elven Rings dice. So these are some additional play. I don't know how it works yet, but we will find out. And we will also um, have the Gothmog and Balrog dice. <laughs> Uh, Balrog is in red. So the Balrog dice, the Gothmog dice, uh, and yeah, that that's about it. That looks like pretty much the full pack. So, like as I as I mentioned, I will probably play one more time through with the um, War of the Ring basic rules, and then I will start to add in. Uh, the new dice. So we've got the Keeper dice, Keepers of the Ring dice. We've got the Lesser Minion dice, which give us things like Use Balrog, Muster, Draw a Card, or I Remove. And then we've got Gandalf the Grey in play, Gandalf the Grey and Galadriel in play, Elrond, Ga Galadriel, and Gandalf the White in play, the Balmar, Balrog, Gothmog, and the Witch King in play. So they got different examples in this book. We've got the Elven Counters. We've got new Special abilities of the Rings of Power. So you got Vilya, Nenya, and Narya. The Ring of the Three, the Ring of Adamant, and the Great Ring. And they each have special rules. And you got a card for Galadriel, Keeper of Nenya. She cannot leave Lorien. Interesting. Elrond. He also cannot leave Rivendell. This is cool, interesting. So they're kind of tied to their lands. The Balrog of Moria cannot leave Moria unless it is activated. It says here the Gothmog, Lieutenant of Morgul. The true nature of the Lieutenant of Morgul is never revealed in the Lord of the Rings. We know that he steps in as Commander in Chief of the Shadow Armies after the Witch King is destroyed in the fields of Pelennor. So he's one of the most powerful servants of the Shadow. Had it not been for the timely arrival of Aragorn, he might have succeeded in turning the tide of the battle against the Shadow's favor. Interesting, the Black Mouth of Sauron, the Black Numenorian. And different ways that they each enter the plane. Then this is the Witch King as the chief of the Ringwraiths. In the Lord of the Rings, after the defeat of the Nazgul at the Fords of Brynion, the Witch King is raised to a new demonic status and returns to the Black Captain of Sauron, guiding the main assault against Minas Tirith. The Witch King, mounted upon his uh, steed. Okay, that's going to do it. So, hey guys, uh, look forward to our painting video of War of the Ring. Uh, if you like and subscribe and ring the bell, you can get some notification when that happens. And uh, I will also be reviewing, um, there's a second uh, expansion out there. It's called War of the Ring Warriors of Middle-Earth. Uh, I'll also do a, an unboxing and a review of that. And I'll probably end up, um, I, I guess if you want to plan out for maybe the next couple games of my War of the Ring gameplay, just to give you guys the heads up here, uh, I'll probably do War of the Rings again, just by the base rule set. I will probably do a version of it with, uh, Lords of Middle Earth. So season we got season two wrapped up, season three wrapped up. We'll have another season four with Warriors of Middle Earth, just that um, expansion, and then I'll probably do a uh, season five with all the expansions. A quick shout out also: there is an an additional expansion that I've seen out on on uh, Board Game Geeks. I've also seen it on YouTube, and I think it might have been delayed due to COVID from late last year. So. I think that's called the Kings of Middle Earth, and that's one that's coming. So as I get more news on that, I'll keep you guys posted, and uh, we'll, we'll get some review videos for that too. So 
Uh, as usual, thanks for watching. Go check out our uh, miniature painting video for War of the Rings. Go check out our Season 1 gameplay of War of the Rings. There's probably lots of things I did wrong in that first gameplay, so go ahead and give me the comments. We're here to learn and have fun. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.